Hey, I hope you're having a good Monday. I'm sorry, kind of sorry, that I couldn't be with you. Imagine that you are having a conversation with your mom or dad. You want to do something, and they don't want you to do it. And you think that they're being kind of unreasonable. So you start getting a little snarky. And pretty soon, they use that classic parent line, don't take that tone with me. Right? Have you heard that? A lot of you, I bet, have heard that line. When they say that, they don't just mean the sound of your voice, the tone of your voice. Sound is part of the, our tone, how we sound, whether our voice is high or low, or fast or slow, or nasally or resonant and full. But tone is even more about attitude. So when your mom or dad says, don't take that tone with me, they're probably saying, don't have that attitude with me. And tone is also about emotion. And it is about how formal we are. We don't just have tone in our voice. We don't just have tone when we talk. There's also tone in your writing. And it matters what tone you use when you write. It's going to matter in almost any writing you do, but it matters quite a bit in this next writing assignment you're doing, your letter of recommendation. It's a letter that should use a professional tone. So I want to talk to you for a little bit about what tone is and how we create it. One reason that tone matters in this letter is credibility. Credibility means how trustworthy are you? How much can someone believe what you are saying? So let's imagine that Mrs. Fitzgerald asks me to write a letter of recommendation for her. And I say, okay. And in my letter I say, so yeah, Mrs. Fitz is the bomb. She is a straight up awesome teacher and if you don't hire her, you are going to regret it. Trust me. Okay, that is enthusiastic uh, and positive, but the tone is going to hurt my credibility. Maybe if I were giving a tour of campus to a bunch of eighth graders and I said that, they'd think I was cool or maybe they'd just think I was trying too hard. But if I put that in a letter to a principal, he or she is going to think, who is this guy? And why should I believe anything he says? Because I don't sound like a professional. I need a professional tone. So, how do we get tone? There are really two things in our writing that create the tone of that writing. One of them is diction, which is a fancy word for word choice. When we use words that are a little larger and more formal, we create a more serious tone, a more formal tone. And when we use words that are more casual or that are really emotional, we create a tone that is less formal and maybe more emotional. So, for example, what's another way that I could say what I was trying to say about Mrs. Fitzgerald that would use words that create a more formal tone? Instead of saying she's the bomb and straight up awesome, what if I said, Mrs. Fitzgerald is an experienced and diverse teacher who is skilled in a variety of subject areas and who has deep concern for students. Did I basically say that she's straight up awesome? Yeah. Does it sound more professional? Yes. You could also notice the syntax in what I said. Syntax is another fancy word, and it means sentence structure. When we are being conversational, when we're just talking like normal, 
our sentences are usually short and sometimes they're not even complete sentences. But when we are trying to be formal, trying to have a professional tone, either in speech or in writing, our sentences will be a little bit longer and maybe even have some complication in them. So I would say something like, in my experience, Mrs. Fitzgerald shows skills in a variety of subject areas and can adapt her teaching well to the needs of her students. See, that sentence has some complexity to it. So, you're going to be looking at something from Animal Farm in a minute, something you've already read, and looking for words, especially words, but maybe also sentences that create the tone of that passage. And beyond this assignment, I hope that as you work on your letter of rec recommendation, you will be careful to choose words and to construct sentences in such a way that you sound professional and believable. Have a good day.